Good afternoon. Let's now get some entertainment updates here on Joy News today. Now, one of the pioneers of Ghanaian gospel music, Yao Sapong, has outlined plans of celebrating his 40 years of gospel music ministry. According to him, as part of the anniversary celebration, he will embark on a church to church tour in spreading the gospel of Christ through his music. interview though how on the hits maker said my purpose in life is to use my music to expand the kingdom of god and i want to start with the house of god i have therefore decided to and if i can perform in almost all bible believing churches in ghana i have already spoken with my management and will welcome any invitation extended to us as part of his 40 years in ministry, Yao Sapon plans to launch the Yao Sapon Foundation later in the year with the objective of transforming prisons across the country. Dab the Prison Project, it aims to establish counseling and resource centers across Ghana's prisons and provide a platform for inmates to discover their talents through the power of music. Currently, Yao Sapon has 25 music albums and over 100 songs to his name. He is keen on continuing his mission to bring back joy with his songs of faith and exhorting Christians to live passionately for God. His passion to see through his God-given mission has inspired the writing of his latest album titled Eradicasa. <laughs> Away from Yao, Stoneboy, one of Ghana's notable dancehall artists, missed out uh, his second BET when the Best International Act Award was swept by Nigeria's Whiskey. But Stoneboy is not worried as he revealed in an exclusive interview with Joy Sports Benedict Owusu in the US that he has learned a lot for just being part of the award and has urged Ghanaians, uh, Ghanaian entertainers to take a cue from such events. So how was the BET experience? Yeah, it was a good experience. You know, um, you know, it opens your eye to several things happening in other people's industry as well. You know, so it's a good experience to to have the opportunity to attend and to witness and to participate, even perform. You know, and having won it already in 2015 and coming back as a, the only nominee from Ghana as well. You know what I mean? It only shows that um, we're investing work time and money, and at the end of the day, um, it goes it goes a long way to also put the name of Ghana on the map when it comes to entertainment. Take me through your performance. How was it for you? It was a great. It was a great piece. It was a great piece. You know, performing at the Experience main stage. Yeah. As, as people of Ghana, what can we learn from this as artists, from whatever you witnessed at the BET? A uh, lot of things to, to be learned, actually. Um, lot, lot, lot. But I can only simplify it to say that um, um, I, one thing I want to say is that, you see, this is, sh um, this is showbiz. And I think one thing I kept saying is that America is one of the most branded countries in the world. That's it. So to go further, we have to know what we want to do and what we are about, and also start with the attitude of the pe um, of the people, like the attitude towards that particular change. Because I've been here a number of times, and witnessing it over again, that is what comes to mind, how they intentionally make it happen. You know, it's planned, it's coordinated, it's executed. That's one of the things I've learned, and I would say that we as Ghanaians are also working on and will and should have to work on the more, you know, to make it look like how we always see it from other people, you know, because there's a whole lot of behind the stage things that go on and it's not easy. So we shouldn't only look at um, judging how it's seen. We as people should understand that all these persons or all these countries that we are emulating or we are getting inspired by or drawing inspiration from have a lot to do behind the scenes. 
On that note, we end entertainment here on Joy News today. My name is Becky. Yeah.